Hi everyone, it's a ticket to Christ. Thank you for tuning back in. We are still on the series. Um, and this is a really big series. It's don't make space for the devil. And why it's big, it's because it's such a broad topic. Um, and today we're looking at how a person's self, how how a wrong understanding of self, a wrong self viewpoint and a wrong um, understanding of the word or lack of understanding of the word that the enemy can use that to get in. I, and I'm talking about a lot of times people come from um, abuse and trauma in their childhood, in their past. And so uh, the person can build an image of this, rebuild their image, um, but a false image that can, if you don't, if you're not careful, that image can become an idol. And so if anybody dares to correct or what's perceived as a criticism, that person can get really wounded. They can start feeling wounded because they have built and erected this image of themselves. And um, rather than moving self out of the way so that the Lord can reign, that image of self they come to the word so that that image can be propped up. So they look to the word to build up that image rather than looking to move self out of the way so that Jesus can live through us. And it's a wrong understanding of the word of God. And so the way, and that's how the enemy gets a foothold. It's through that false kind of a twisted uh, view of processing life and of approaching the Lord. And so there isn't any real surrender. And from that type of life, a person doesn't take the word of God seriously, not the whole thing to heart. They take the part that fits that image of themselves. Um, but it, but um, they don't take the whole word of God to heart. And so they don't take anything you have to say to heart. Right. Um, but the cure, if that's you or, um, and I think throughout our Christian walk, if we're honest with ourselves, we can all see areas where we're like that. We have a self-image. Somebody says something or points sin out or corrects us. We feel a certain kind of way. We get all bent out of shape. It's called pride. And that's when you have a self-image that rivals your love for God and, and your love for righteousness. And so the Bible shows us how to overcome this it's through the word of god and that's the that's really the weapon that we have it says hebrews 4 verse 12 to 13 it says for the word of god is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. And so what is this talking about here? It talks about the word of God and it likens it to a quick, powerful, sharp, sharper than a double-edged sword. And so the word of God is quicker than the devil. The word of, the word of God will go in between soul and spirit. So if there is a demonic spirit that's trying to come in, the word of God will expose it. It will shed light. It says it's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So if there is a bad motive, an impure motive, or you're lying to yourself or self-deceive, you get into the word of God, it will shine light. You will start seeing, you know what, it's my pride. You'll start seeing, you know what, I have built this self-image of myself. That's not built on what God says, you know, good or, or bad, you know, sometimes, or when I say good, I mean, sometimes people have a positive self-image, which is fine, but if it's not what God says, if it's not being built from the word of God, it be can become a pride, it can become an ego, and it becomes this thing that can raise itself up against loving the truth. If somebody points something out that's not in keeping with that, right? Uh, it also talks about here as well, just the word of God being sharper than a two-edged sword. And throughout the scriptures, I believe in Revelation, you see the word of God 
being likened to a sword, right? And it's no strange fact as well, but if you go back to Genesis in the beginning, Genesis chapter 3, I won't turn there, but I'll have those scriptures below. Verse um, 24, it says, when man was driven out of Eden, God placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. The flaming sword, right? With the word of God, keeping the way to the tree of life. And today we have the word of God that guards the way to the tree of life, which is Jesus. The word of God lights our path uh, and guides our way to walking correctly with God, walking in unity with him and being able to not fall prey to the enemy. And then another scripture to look at, and we'll turn there, um, bear with me, it's Psalm 119. I should have had this marked out, but I just kind of jumped to do this um, uh, time here, this session, and I did not mark it out. So please bear with me. It's Psalm 119, here it is, and it's verse 9 through 16. But if you have an opportunity and make some time, read the entire Psalm 19, 119. It is incredible. You will feel like you got a good soul scrub with the word. It says, wherewithal, so we're picking up from verse 9 through 16. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed hitherto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies, as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts, and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. And so um, we see here what? What are you, what's jumping out at you? What's hitting your heart? What I'm getting is, first of all, this person is seeing in verse nine, he's asking a question, right? He's deliberately asking this question and then he's answering it with by where, meaning how do I keep my path pure, my way pure? He said, by taking heed thereto according to your word, by paying attention to your word. That's what he's saying, taking it to heart, that if God says something, you take it seriously. You know, I think about us as people, when we, for example, tell a friend, this is what I like and this is what I don't like, and the friend doesn't take it to heart, how does that make you feel? It makes you feel like they don't care. They don't care what you think, right? <laughs> or, you know, a husband or a wife or a family member or a person at work, if you say, this is what I like, this is what I don't like, and they don't, they disregard it and just do whatever, it, it makes you feel like they don't really care about you. What you think, it didn't matter to them, right? It's the same thing. When we don't take heed to the word of God, it means, it, it for God, it means that you don't, you are not loving him. God views love with through our obedience to taking his words to heart and obeying it. And so this man is saying um, it's a it's a way to keeping his uh, path pure, you know, taking heed. Um, and then his attitude and approach with his whole heart seek, seeking God and begging God not to allow him to wander from his commandments. When you wander from the commandments of God, um, it's because you have forgotten them, you know? So he hid them in his heart, verse 11, learn them by heart so that he won't forget, so that he won't disregard the word of God, to take his words to heart. And um, yes, we have the Holy Spirit inside of us, um, but the Holy Spirit, um, comes in agreement with comes in agreement with the word of God. The Holy Spirit is not going to grow in you without the word of God. It's the word of God that's in you that connects with the Holy Spirit in agreement that powers your life. It builds you character so that the Holy Spirit has commonality and a place to dwell, right? 
the Holy Spirit is holy. Um, he's not going to dwell with in a sinful temple. He's going to dwell in somebody who has the word of God richly in them. And you will see that spirit empowered in that person, in their life, because they're living in agreement. The Bible says where two or three are in agreement you know, you everything is answered. So if you have the word of God hidden in your heart and you're in agreement that the Holy Spirit is living in you because you're Christian and, and, and he is in you because you're Christian, you're you're full with the fill up full you're full of the power of God, you know? And so the word of God is very important. You see here um just a rich word life coming from this passage from this man. He meditates on the precepts of God. He delights in the word of God. He will not forget them. So he's reading the word. He meditates on it, but he also delights in it. Um, a lot of times people get the word of God, but they're not delighting in it. They don't love righteousness. They don't love the truth. They don't love um, the way of the truth. They they look, oh, that's extreme. Oh, that's, oh, this person is overdoing. no. <laughs> You know, how is your life working out for you? Are you, are you empowered? Are you seeing miracles around? Well, if you're not, then maybe the person is an extreme. Maybe they're speaking the truth. Maybe the word of God is powerful and does what it says it will do. And not maybe, I know for a fact it does. It is powerful. And um, God um, and his word are one. God, his word, his spirit, all one. You know, so you can't get go anywhere without the word. And without the word, you know, the enemy can deceive you. If you don't know the Bible, if you don't know what God says, the enemy can deceive you. Not only knowing it, you have to believe it and obey it. You can't move away from it. Because look at what happened with Eve. Yes, she knew the word of God. You know, they were told, they, they got one word. Don't eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and don't even touch it. And she moved away from it. Some people like to say, oh, Eve added to the word of God. I don't believe she added to it. I think she, the Bible, how it's written is you get an overview, then you get a deeper picture of it. It gives you like a magnifying glass on the situation. And so you get more information. And I just think that we just got more information about what God told them. I told, I believe God told them, don't even touch it. Don't go near it. And I believe that she accurately said that, but was deceived by the devil and let go of the word, walked away from the word of God and took instead a twisted version of the word that came from the enemy. And so you have to be very careful that you follow the word of God, what God said to do, and the Holy Spirit will come in agreement with that. Don't take out any of it at all. Um, don't lean on your own understanding. Don't take out any of it if you don't want the enemy to get a foot a foothold. Because he took the word of God in the Garden of Eden, twisted it, <laughs> right? Put a spin on it, put his own viewpoint, and the rest is history. And so um, not only knowing the word, reading the word, but staying with the word that's important. And, and that comes from your faith and your understanding of God. And the more you read the Bible, you will start understanding God's heart. God's heart is always for mercy. God's heart is always for love. God is always looking to save. God is always looking to give. God is always looking to bless. That's his heart. You know, that's his desire, right? Um, and, and with the enemy, he's always looking to steal, kill, destroy, deceive. You know, there's always some kind of a other agenda, right? Self and self-promotion. But with God is humility, so that's it from me on this, beloved. I hope it blessed you, gave you food for thought um, as you're walking out this walk, if you're studying this study, um, that it will really give you uh, um, things to think about and to look into for yourself and to pray about. Hope you're doing well. Take care.